ready to record Tears of the Kingdom. Wait a minute. You know, I think Tears of the Kingdom can wait. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin. It's been a long time, what, four years since I played Pikmin, and honestly, I thought I was gonna, I, I, we weren't gonna get a Pikmin 4. I, I really didn't think we were gonna get one. Mimoto always talked about it, he always, he loves this series, but I think he struggles with the fact that he's in the minority. Just like I do. Just like you do, if you love Pikmin like I do. But I think the times are changing. I also thought the next time I would be seeing Pikmin would be Let's Playing Pikmin 3, but then this dropped, and everything changed. Uh, let's, let's just jump in. Let's just go in. Th these are my first experiences. As soon as I saw this game revealed, I knew that I, I couldn't waste this opportunity to record my first impressions of a Pikmin game. For the first time, I'll be able to memorialize this for, honestly, for myself. This demo version is complete once you collect 1,500 units of Sparklium and finish exploring for the day. That one day? Okay. You can import your save data from the demo into the full version of the game. <laughs> I am Captain Olimar. I don't know if this is a retelling of Pikmin 1, or if things have kind of reset. Okay, this has to be Pikmin 1, right? Yeah, this is definitely a synopsis of Pikmin 1. Love that game. I love Pikmin... Wait a minute. Okay, this... This can't be Pikmin 1. Because there is dog. Evil dog. <laughs> Okay, so this this is he crash landed again. Well, okay, 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 okay. Let's give Olimar credit. He's really only crash landed once. The ship was piloting, I think, in Pikmin 2. And he he really didn't crash land, he just had a minor setback. And I have very I'm uh, I don't want to start things off on a negative note. I and honestly, what's being deconfirmed is a theory at the end of the day. It's it's weird to me that humanity is apparently still up and thriving. That's kind of kind of whack, but if it means I get Pikmin 4, I get Pikmin 4. That dog is also just scary. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Even Olimar's pointing it out. That dog is shifty. That dog... Wait, where are you running off to? Oh, I love Pikmin, man. Also, we can see the, the, like, the Pikmin AR from the 3DS and Pikmin Bloom is just finally becoming 
the the lore of the franchise. That could be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. Barf. Borf. Pikmin! I love this. I, I love it. Ah! We get to control <laughs> control the camera with really nice camera controls. Really fluid. The SS Dolphin looks beautiful and is probably a higher polygon count than every area in Pikmin 1 combined. Uh, let's get a use for, let's get a, acquainted with these controls. Although it looks like none of my controls are working yet. Well, they'll, they'll introduce them to me. I saw some of the Pikmin head this way. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. Which button was that? When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. I just need to press X and hold down the stick, I think that is. Then I'll take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let go and let her rush. It's just X. The power of dog. I, I wish I had a camera pointed at me right now because I just have a big smile on my face. Now I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. <laughs> I love this. Borf. Hmm. I I wish I, I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm. I better make a note of this in my voyage log. Sure, I'll record now. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it? Huh. Strange Pikmin behavior. And by the way, uh, when Olimar reads and is writing, he has a completely different voice. In, in his in his mind's eye, his voice is just mine. That's just how it works. I can't make this stuff up. There are three Pikmin games before this confirming it is canon, so what are you to do? When I arrived in this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find- I, I can't find my sh spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and call them back using my whistle. I need to find my missing ship parts, but it will be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. Are we gonna see people in this game? Cause that's- that's kinda weird. That takes- that takes this into some strange elements. Like now, Olimar's kind of like, a thief? Don't look before you leap? Okay, also jump button for the first time. <laughs> Maybe Olimar's traveled backwards in time. And like the the nuclear holocaust that destroys humanity, Louis causes. I would buy that. That seems like a a common Louie W if you ask me. You can go really fast. Come on. Come on. Now, they're just they're everywhere. So it said the, the the tutorial will end when when this when this day ends, but I don't notice a timer. So I don't know if this is like the tutorial and then we'll get into the real day, or if this is the the real day. I don't know. I did not mean to do that. I had no control over that. That. Mm. I guess I can just wait here. Any more? No takers? Oh, that's neat. LNR obviously cycles through Pikmin just like it did in Pikmin 3, but can I not? Okay. But it has a little a little menu over the cursor. I had been wondering what if they were going to add like a um like a a wheel like a weapon wheel type of thing, but this works too. I do like that it also shows you the the amount of Pikmin you have in your group. Just a, a couple, a couple little quality of life changes. I mean, Pikmin, don't don't get me started on this. Pikmin has never, ever, not once, had a good control control scheme. In Pikmin, in Pikmin one and two, um, you had the beauty of the C stick and all the control you got with that in in terms of like dodging and weaving and swarming enemies and throwing in one direction while swarming to a different direction. That was awesome. But then in Pikmin three. 
Uh, well, actually, I guess in the Wii ports, uh, break what? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a fair point. Um, and then in all of the Wii ports, we had the pointer controls, which were fine, but A, the game wasn't... Are those... Are those poor Pikmin being electrocuted? I need to save them. Wait. I don't know why it looked like they were being electrocuted. Uh... <laughs> And then, with the pointer controls, it was nice, but the game wasn't designed around it, which is, I guess, fine, because in Pikmin 3 it was. But then you have this problem of dodging is really difficult, especially when you have Leaf Pikmin, and they introduced a dodge roll, but the dodge roll doesn't work. Like, it works maybe, like, a third of the time. And uh, then you were got stuck in the lock-in menu in Pikmin 3 originally. Pikmin 3 Deluxe was like the closest we ever had to good controls for Pikmin, but it, I still, growing up, a lot of people don't, don't understand the, how much power or how much control you get from that C-Stick, and largely Pikmin has moved away from that. It's kind of sad, but I'm hoping that with, e uh, with each game, it's gotten a little bit better. Like Pikmin 3 to Pikmin 3 Deluxe was night and day, and now to this game, I'm hoping it's also night and day. Uh, this, this is the perfect situation to rely on my pup's powerful nose. Track down one of those ship parts. Girl, you creepy dog. Man, she's creepy. We need to stay on that scent. Arf. This dog is actually kind of creepy. I don't know what it reminds me of. There's a pick. There's a. There is a Pikmin enemy that those eyes, those just shifty, creepy eyes, remind me of. I don't know if it's like the Bulborbs in, um, I guess Pikmin one and two. How they? Oh, you know what? There's a pot over there. How they? <clears throat> the Bulborbs in Pikmin two barely had their eyes open, or maybe it's the um. Maybe it's the Emperor Bullblax. That, that could be it. That, that would make sense, actually. But it's... There's something uncanny. Can I dismount the dog? Is there a button to do that? I don't see one. But I think they just want me... To, obviously, they want me to stay on the dog for now. Can I even throw a pick one? Okay, I can. Come on, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna rush. We just rush everything now. Pikmin aren't Pikmin aren't important. It, it's only dog. Pikmin are accessories, and they're s for score boosting. Huh? Hi. A creature. <laughs> I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. By pressing A button, I, I'm sure I can lock on? Possibly? Is there... That's lock on. Nice. I, I see the weaknesses. I, I already see the weaknesses. Wait for it, wait for it. That... Huh. That, um, that went down a lot easier than I thought it would. Let's go do that. It's the interstellar radio. We located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Not like I'll need it, because I will get everything. I also brought all of my life savings with me. Again, presumably, I'd imagine. The, the secret safe is probably somewhere. Why is this loading screen taking so long? How am I aware of this loading screen existing? Oh, I'm back in 2D. So all is safe. I cannot die. Until the dog kills me. And then a pal will say I told you so. Ah, this is setting up into the story of Pikmin 4. That makes sense. Okay. Also nice that they're bringing it full circle. Oh. The beep. My signal reached the rescue core. They took off toward the remote planet with notable, n noble, notable plans to bring me home safe. This cutscene style is really weird. It's cool, but it's really weird. 
Unfortunately, they crash landed too. How does this keep happening? The rescue officers needed to send out a rescue beacon, and soon more came. After... Are they rare? I don't think they're that rare, Olabar. I don't think they're that rare. I think uh, they happened last game. A Ricky, you. Ha ha! He is aware of the fourth wall. No. That's right. You are my last hope. You. Emergency mission. Rescue the rescue corps. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed rescue corps is now your top priority. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Oh no. Ha! <laughs> oh boy! Um, I can't wait for this silent protagonist to have no bearing on the story because they're gonna look like- how, how am I gonna make these, these guys look? I wanna make it- whoa, whoa, hi! Hello! Why do you look like you're from Wreck-It Ralph? I don't like you. I'm never going to use you. I might use him though. <laughs>
earn my good graces. This guy is like 10 times more powerful than a purple Pikmin. Like, five, 10 of these guys could probably carry the doomsday apparatus. All the dirt has been removed. And you now have a dog and a man. Or, I guess I assume they're... Are you a man? I can't tell. Oh, I have to come up with the voices for these guys. Hmm, Herm, Herm, is that you, Ochi? <laughs> Thank the stars. I wasn't sure that my SOS signal has had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together. Kopchi. That's actually quite surprising. I have never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the rescue corps. As the rescue corps comms operator, he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. Found comms operator Colin. You met up with the Colin, the rescue corps comms operator. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? My path got cut off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? Jeff, isn't yeah. it? I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, well, as I said before, I was very hungry. Hello. It was a rough landing, some of them didn't make it, and I didn't want to waste all that luscious meat. Ah, yes. They were indeed delicious. I brought seasonings just in case. There, was, there were six officers on the ship, but four of them met their end. And thus, they prevented mine. We came here to find Captain Olimar, who, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. Hello? And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, hey. oh before I forget, take this. It's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. I happened across four extra ones. Tap buttons to use it. Version 20.0.1. I wonder if that's a, the game's version. I wonder if we'll see that change. You can use this app like it's a phone. I have other handy apps to share, cooking apps, and I'll install them later. For now, just remember that you can always tap up on the D-pad and use your buttons. There's even... Sheikah TikTok. Highly in Instagram. And... Straight Up Vine. That's it. Wait. Okay, there are a bunch of different things. Radar map. I can't move around on that. Oh, wait, no, I can. Uh, that's a pretty big area. The shepherd's over there. ID badges. Which is kind of Nintendo's shtick right now. At least with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, I don't like him. Uh, having, like, these little lore tidbits and menus. And I'm down with it. That's, like, that's a cool trend. 
having all this. So if you want to get more ingrained to the story, message logs, that's also kind of Nintendo's thing right now. All stuff that are in Tears of the Kingdom, all that's stuff true. I like to see. Now, if only they could port over auto advancing dialogue from Xenoblade 3. That is such a good feature. Four Leaf Clover? No? Mm, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can zoom out pretty far. I like how the. Yeah, I like this camera. It just gets it gets all of the the good parts of uh of Pikmin two of N one, and it's just it's just better. And there she is, the cafeteria. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just a step ahead. Let's go. You um. You bring a lot of food. Are you are you injured at all? Perhaps maybe you might not make it through the night. If so, did you bring any extra seasoning? Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground? If only we could find a way there, then we could reunite with the cafeteria. Hmm. It's impossible to get over the edge. If only we had legs and could jump. Do it, dog. Just like everything in the game. Just solve it for us. <laughs> this is the perfect do uh, dog for a job. They're known for something I didn't read fast enough to see. Good job, pup. You are... Wow, I'm really talking fast. Almost there. Caves are back! Yeah! You can see why your rescue pups are the rescue calls, pride, and joy. They can do everything. Hmm, this looks like just the other hole we saw. Well done, dog. I wonder if they connect. If they don't, I suppose you'll meet your end down there. It looks pretty deep. We're just going to dive right in. Yes, we are. You go first. And cushion my fall. You might notice I don't look like I'm starving to death. There's a very good reason for that. And you are it. I don't know why I made this guy. Oh, oh man, come on. Why did I why did you have to go to go first and ruin my bit? Burrow of beginning, sub level one. I love it. I love it. Also, I landed first. That's not how physics work. It. My bit is back, guys. Borf. Hey, what is it, Ochi? Does it look like he broke a leg? Is that what you're trying to say? He looks weak, and we can tackle him when he turns his back. You and I will eat well tonight, and I'll fatten you up for myself. He's trying to tell us something. Is Are you trying to say that we got trapped down a well? That sounds like something you would say. Dog. <laughs> uh, it's so pretty. No. Caves are back! It looks like a dead end. Let's try somewhere else. <laughs> caves are back, and they they feel like Pikmin too. I I was wondering about that. I was wondering how they like model them, and it just it it's just Pikmin too. Uh, I I, I give, I've given the dog some flack, but don't get me wrong. I do think that this game, from what I've seen, has the potential. Oh, that's not good. Has the potential to be the best Pikmin game. I'm so excited for this game. Caves are back. Night exploration. All stuff I've wanted. Oh my. Fresh meat. That terrified individual you see over there is the captain. He's thin. There isn't a lot of meat on his bones. The captain comes from a long line of- wow, that was really fast. This is no time for his- uh, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna do that voice. That voice is kinda... <laughs> Um, this is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. Mano? 
Oh, oh no, she's surrounded by creatures. Send, do it, dog. Do all my work for me. Go, go. Hurry up and help me already. Die for your sins in Pikmin 2. Phew. Now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? Just let it go. You, the worst th thing that can happen is you break both your legs. And then, Jeff, you know what to do. I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. Okay, I can do this. Wow. You know what? All things considered, that was a pretty good landing. Well, that's a voice. Uh, what's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. Very relieved. You can hear the ecstasy in my voice. Us. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Okay. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Jeff? Huh. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but yeah, me. Okay. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. And a brilliant scientist. A 99th Gen Rescue Corps, uh, sorry, a 99th Gen Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. I think my goal is to make all of the cap, all of the members as creepy as possible. I just can't figure out how to make her creepy yet. We found Captain Shepard with the captain here. It feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Goody. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but I'm very hungry. And Jeff looks... I think we can take Jeff ourselves. While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I, ca when I came up on those icky, slimy creatures. Oh, you know what? I'm leaning into the voice. I'm sorry. Actually, no. <gasps> I know what voice I'm doing for her. Yes. Okay. Give me a sec. Hang on. Did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? <laughs> Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. My name's yeah. Jeff. <laughs> Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Jeff. Speak your mind, knave. Copy that is the rescue corps way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? Copy that. <laughs> understood, go. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure you're just nervous. This is your first official mission after all. It'll all come naturally to you soon enough. Don't worry. The bomb. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. So the reason why I gave her Mitch Hedberg's voice is when playing Dungeons and Dragons years ago, I was given an NPC called Urgla. And I turned her, I, I was struggling to find a voice for her, and so I was like, you know what, she looks like a hippie. So I made her a hippie. Years later, I brought her back for a one-shot and decided, you know what? It's Mitch Hed Hedberg's time to shine, and the rest is history. Now I have a Mitch Hedberg voice. <laughs> uh, Rescue Journal. This is where you'll find advice left by captains, both past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share here will guide you well. That's it. No. You'll be able to access them via your phone. That's it. Since the dog and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. 
I don't actually know why you are relevant to the story. But at the end of the day, you are the one who told Colin to wake up, walk five feet, and save my life. So I guess that's cool. Go, dog. Solve all our problems for me. That was quite a rush. Well, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> quite the merry crew we have so far. I remember this area like it was yesterday. I was here yesterday. There, that's where I fell in. My word, to think you survived a fall from that height. How disappointing. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up? The walls are made of darkness. Hey, there's something under the light. Certainly you should walk in first, Jeff. It might chop you up, but what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Press X to use Ochi's rush technique. He can shake objects loose and break things apart on impact. He can do everything! Super dog! Excuse me. You who has not introduced yourself. I suggest you exercise a bit more, uh, more in general. You look really out of shape. <laughs> and, yeah, that's it. Picture. I completely agree. We need to get some meat on those bones. We claim this hole for <laughs> Gryffindor. <laughs> All right, Captain. The Rescue Corps flag has officially been planted. Now for the statute statutes report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway, and no, no other individuals were found during our search. Where could they have gone? I have no idea. Nah. No noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. Some lives depend on us. Some don't. But you both did good work today. Well done. Unnamed protagonist and dog. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. You've filled out a lot. That's kind of suspicious. Care to comment on that? No, I don't think so. I'm trying something fresh. Of course, and good for you. You did it. Well, here she is. The cafeteria. I kind of like Jeff. I, I think it's a little bit endearing. <laughs> Is that a chip part or treasure? Also, where are... Okay, those are the weird crystals that surround Pikmin. Or onions, rather. Is that smoke pouring out of the cafeteria? It must be a grease fire. No one throw water, uh, water on it. I'll investigate right away. Famous last words of all of the captains I ate, all of the captains I hunted down, all of the captains I seasoned and ate raw. I cooked two of them, but the rest I ate raw. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I found a grease fire. It seems you left the oven going. What? Oh no, how could I have left the oven going? That's horrible. You wouldn't be lying to me at all, would you? I would never. I initiated the emergency shutdown and everything is stable. I am a hero. However, the damage you caused will need repairing. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. <laughs> Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. 
Here it is. Take a look at this. I found treasure! After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they must contain sparklium! I feel giddy to have found real-life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Okay, oh, plus just closes. Okay, 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 cool. In layman's terms, money is the solution to all of our problems. If we can get enough money, then we won't have problems. I kind of just said that. I am skeptical. How could money solve everything? But at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. We must get money. We must get rich. And then we will be fine. Mission. Apparently, rich things, money, can be used as an energy source. Locate as much money as you can so you can restart the SS Shepherd. Well, hey. Once we collect this treasure, we need a way to transport it. On the pole? For that, we can use the beagle. I love that uh, their naming schemes are all dog related. Which, Jeff is kind of a sore thumb now. When I actually play this game, I might oh, want to change that. We just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? Is it... The empty spacesuits I accidentally left lying around? It's so shiny. Could it be money? Maybe it's money. But I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. It seems our ships are attracted to money. Good, our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Aha! Do you see any money? I don't see any money. Do we see an onion? Or are we just gonna have dog? I see an onion! I also see my childhood. Actually, literally, quite literally, it's also still on. That checks out, to be honest. This was my first gaming console ever. Ever. My first game, Hi. Zelda 1. My second game, Mario 3. What two fantastic first games to have. And it was it was a blue Game Boy Advance SP. This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way Whoa. it sparkles. Let's see if it's worth a lot of money. There's a lot of talking. I'm going to press the plus button for reasons unknown. Oi. Presence of money confirmed. That star represents money. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check to see if there's any money in your area. Oi. Oh, again, look that way? That's cool. Excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign, but... How can the dog carry it? The dog can't fly. Wait, hold up. Wait, can the dog solve this problem? Oh my word, the dog can solve this problem. Oh my word, the dog can solve all problems. The dog is the truth. That was close, too close. That's not how I wish to die. Oh my word, the dog can actually just solve all problems. What? Useless dog! Useless dog! Bad dog! <laughs> uh. da -da 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 -da. What is this? Is it tr is it money? Is it food? Is it money again? Go dog! Solve this problem please as well. Oh, this is weird. Okay? This is not what I expected. Huh? I never thought in my life I would see an onion being carried, let alone by a dog, but carried in general. Man, we get a let's get a good look at these. It looks like a fruit, which makes sense considering you know it's called an onion. I think that checks out. Huh? 
Uh, it moved. I don't think it is money. I think it might be food. <laughs> what could it be? It kind of looks like food. Could this be that thing Captain Olimar writes about, or wrote about in his log? He called it an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? Dog? Pluck that Pikmin. Wow, like, that's really sensitive. Go! Pluck, pl pl pluck him. Or not. Okay, fine. Fine. Red Pikmin. Finally, we get a Pikmin. That, that's kind of a weird start to a Pikmin game. It's like, by the way, dog. Dog can do everything. Now, here's something that, uh, I guess he can do some things. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful. According to Louis's vo his voyage log, they're friendly and edible. <laughs> I guess Olimar, there is that one scene. Well, well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for money. Can you go? Look at that. Ochi is already bonding with the Pikmin. That Pikmin is... After my own heart, one day that will be me. One day I will run after that dog and I will eat well. <laughs> Red Pikmin. Okay, I can select Pikmin obviously with this. Now we're not riding a dog, so I can I can check out controls. Um It kinda looks like the cursor yeah, the cursor. Auto locks? Yeah, it auto locks once it's in range, which is... That's neat. That's a, that's a neat change. Uh, I'm gonna go to settings real quick. Mm, settings. Vertical controls, yeah, 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 yeah. Survey drone, okay. Mo motion controls, pebble, I don't know what that is. Uh, radar map, actions, no, nothing, nothing really. Shortcut, one through four, okay. Hmm. Uh, I guess this isn't really indicative that we're not going to get... Okay, I was going to say, if you ran back to me, I was going to kind of be angry there, because that's a Pikmin 1 move. I don't allow Pikmin 1... <laughs> Pikmin 1 intelligence here. That's uh, not cool with me. Mmm. More food. What? More sprouts! That is insane. It's like plants can grow. That, that red seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed it to the onion, it will Aww. create Pikmin. What a mysterious life form. It is the miracle of life. I used to be addicted to, or sorry, I used to do drugs. I mean, I still do, but I used to, too. Really, I didn't want the dog. Fine. You know what? No, 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 no. Get over here. Get over here. You go do that. You go do that. Does that make sense? And then you guys go do that. And you go do that. I was gonna, uh, but yeah, I was gonna say, is there a way to, like, center the camera? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, good, good. Uh, go. Or not. Uh, <clears throat> there could be upgrades that facilitate... This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something so big? Uh -oh. oh, that was reverse. You know what? We'll reverse the voices. The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the beagle right away. Let us hope it contains the type of energy we need. <laughs> It contains? Wow, 50 Pocos? That's half of your salary. If we collect 250 more of them, we may be able to restart the things, I guess. But the, the SS cafeteria is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on money alone, though it might be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more money. Then we need to search the area for more money. But yeah, there might be there might be upgrades that facilitate the um that facilitate like old old controls coming back, like the C stick. Maybe. Uh, what else can we bring up here? 
zoom out. Man, this is nice. This game is so pretty. It's... It's so pretty. Now, granted, I think it runs at 30... It lo looks like it's running at 30 FPS, so there's that. You guys gonna help me? No? There are... We have three of you. We're already past the point of... Or matching Pikmin 3 in terms of captains. But you're all just gonna stand there. Looking like a bunch of... <sighs> uh, is there a rush button? No. Maybe. No. Okay, so there's no rush button. Odd. Also... It capped me at Pikmin. I had read about that on Reddit. I didn't want to believe it, but it did. I, I guess it makes sense. It's actually probably a good feature as long as they don't lock me out of it too hard. Go. And you as well. Go help. Go help with that. Yeah. Dog can do everything. New treasure collected. We're at 200. Can we <laughs> melt the little ship and get Sparklium? What's that? What is that? Oh, it's a bike bell. Okay, that's cute, I guess. Man, that's another thing that, that new Pikmin fans are not going to be able to appreciate. The fact that Pikmin 2 has a ton of product placement in it, and unfortunately this game is going to have less of that. It makes sense. I, I get it, but it's just... it's kind of It was kind of cool collecting Duracell batteries and... Leaves. Leaves. Huzzah. I'm so excited. You two make a fantastic combination. Unnamed guy who has rescued us and come to our aid. And a dog. Ah, oh, they're trying to trick me. They're trying to trick me. I'm not going to buy into your mind games. Yes, yes, keep up the good work. No. The Pikmin are very obedient. They make useful slaves for us. The rich, the rich elite class. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Now, now it's time to extract the money from the money. Get started right away, Colin. The tutorial said, or the the thing said, that we were going to um, we were going to get. We're going to be done with this demo once we hit 1,500, and we just hit 300. So this demo is actually very long. I'm an hour into this. I'm probably about to end this recording session, and there's still a lot of game left. So maybe this will last a few episodes. Maybe I'll do this in multiple big parts. That could, that could be cool. Through the power of money, we have the power. Look at that. Look at that. The SS Shepherd is oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The cafeteria is running. We restarted the cafeteria using the sparkly I'm extracted from the treasure. The damage that our captain has done by leaving the uh, the gas running is partially repaired. Hello, hello. We did it. Yes, I did it. In fact, it was all me. Without me, there would be no you. That's it. Excellent, Khan. Boot it up and see if it can pick up any more signals. What? I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. I thought they were dead. Who was it that I ate then? Um, hmm. This is awkward. Huh. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Let us get rescuing. Again, you guys can't see me, but I'm like shaking and side to side my seat to do her voice. And it's, I love it. I, I love these, I love these two guys because of how I've depicted them, not how they are. <laughs> They're actually kind of great. Two rescues so far. We have some. <laughs> Noble Biden. The Stone of Advancement. I love it. I love it. And the Path Creator. All great names. I actually for, kind of forgot to look forward to, to that. The, all the janky names that Pikmin give, just they, they never fail to disappoint. That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. 
We encounter unknown objects and elements on our missions all the time, so I had a naming AI installed on our new ships. Apparently, it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive, if I do say so myself, which I do, because you just heard me say it myself. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. After day one, maybe it ends? I don't know. It did say after day one, if I was remembering properly. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS cafeteria. I didn't know how things would shake out, and I felt really bad that it's all my fault. You know? Thank goodness I was able to make the repairs. It, I'd been roughing it out for long enough. I needed something fresh, and the ship will get me to them. Come on. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? Oh, this is a great setup. <laughs> we have no idea how long we'd be stuck on this planet. Yeah. I counted our stock three times. One looks to Jeff. Two <laughs> looks to Shepard. And three looks to Dog. Monocle. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we will focus on recon. So you and the the dog need to eat and get lots of rest. You un unnamed individual. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. The SOS signals we discovered must be coming from our rescue officers. Come talk to me as soon as you are ready. The menu also has its own voice, even though Colin wrote that. Yeah. Oh, I see you've used a pin. So then, I don't need to tell you that it's as easy as selecting a mission, pressing A to pin it and unpin it. I commend your instincts. Pinning a mission is a great way to keep track of your objectives. That's why I have a pin in you. Okay. Is that the end of day one? I do believe it is. Cool. See you guys next time.